Hello YouTube, I come to you once again with another video, um, it's another binder I have here, uh, yeah, it's a really beat up binder, I, I've had it for probably 20 years, I, I got it from, I guess some kid in the trade, it was in this worst condition 20 years ago, it was a little bit whiter then, but yeah, this was all like that, it was stained, and it's, it's a it's an old Don Russ binder. I mean, it's a it's a binder. I needed a binder, so it's still you know it's a little crappy, but uh, you know it's got some on the side. But you know what? It's got some stuff. And so these are more uh, some Hall of Famers, some not. So we'll open this up and see binder number three. <clears throat> Start off with the Carlton Fisk rookie cards, Pudge before Rodriguez. Uh, some cards there. I don't remember what's in this binder because I haven't looked in this binder in a couple of years. So, uh, I got some Carlton Fisk there. I noticed from my past videos I'm trying to do a wider lens because it hasn't it hasn't been picking up anything. Uh, okay, more Carlton Fisk. Groundbreaking. It's more Fisk. Get some Gary Carter. I have some more Gary Carter sitting over there. Like I said in previous videos, I don't have enough space to put every single card, every single in the binder. I wish I did. Um, I don't know why it's got that glare. I apologize for glare. Some Carters. Got some Daryl Strawberries. Um, I don't know why there's empty spaces there, but that's the one with... Henderson. I guess the reflective plastic is, is clearing off the thing. Like I said, I do have more cards, but they're just not in here. I know I'm repeating myself. All right. Doc Gooden. Some more Doc Gooden. Damn glare. Uh, all right. Some Sheffields. Of course, I have the entire 1990 set, so I have all the cards in that set. Some Sheffield rookie cards. Uh, some more Sheffields. There we go. Maybe that'll kill the glare. <laughs> uh, some Burt Belay Levens. He recently made the Hall of Fame. If I remember right. right. <clears throat> A few Burt Belay Levens here. Alan Trammell, who should be in the Hall of Fame. Uh, I don't remember if he made it or not, to be honest. Um, I, I want to say he did. I can't remember. Usually I'm kind of good at this. Uh, some Alan Trammells. Going to the Fleers. Going to the other Fleers. Donner's Tops. Uh, you name it. I got room for some more Trammells. I do have some more because I got Trammells rookie cards somewhere over there. Jack Morris. I have a two or three Jack Morris rookie cards. They're just not in this binder. He just recently made the Hall of Fame. He's got a French's card with Steve Avery. I have this whole French's set. So I have tons of Jack Morris uh, uh, French's of that one. They're not all in the best condition, but hey, you know, if anybody wants to trade, hey, you know, if anybody wants to trade or, or trade or buy some of these cards that I'm showing on past videos, you know, I'm willing to listen. You know, uh, you know, so that's well, that's just the backs. Come to Keith Hernandez. Mets player. Alright. A few of those. Uh, Juan Gonzalez. The, uh, the wrong stance. Double reverse, whatever you want to call it. Rookie there. Bunch of the Don Russ cards. Or Juan Gonzalez is there. Right, Crime Dog. I got his rookie. It's just not in here. <clears throat> Those other cards that are not in my binders, I'm going to have to show. I've already showed them on past streams, but I'm going to make... I didn't show everything. Uh, Barry Larkin, his rookie sitting over there. It's not in my binder, obviously. Um, other, the main rookie, I mean, that's 87. is one of them, but not that main one. Flip it. Uh, something. Okay. Dale Murphy got the big 85 card. Uh, you got some some of those. <clears throat> uh, 
Well, Dale Murphy, there's one of the Phillies. Got the Cobra, Dave Parker. Um, he should be in the Hall of Fame. That man's battling for his life right now. I forget what he has. So many things. Got this old little uh, coin thing I put in there. I don't, don't remember why. Some more Dave Parkers. Uh, Jack Clark. Uh, he was a good player back in the day. A lot of people are pissed at him for whatever reason. Because he... I don't know. Uh, got some Willie Randolphs for the Yankees. <coughs> some more Willie Randolphs. Uh, Rick Ruschel. Big Daddy's his nickname. Uh, he played for 20 plus years, 22, 23 years. He played for a lot. Jerry Roos, or Rice, however you want to say his name. I think it's Roos. He played uh, He played until he was like 42 or something. He played from like 69 to I think 91 or 92. He played, as you can see the back of his cards, he played forever. Uh, he played 23, 24 years. Bob Welch, uh, he died a few years ago, I forget what. Bought this card for like 50 cents when I was a kid. It's close to his rookie card. <clears throat> this was one of my favorites back in the day. It's a little That card's a little beat up, but it was a 91 score. Charlie Huff, the knuckleballer. You know, uh, he, he's a good player too. He played until he was like 45, 46. Florida drafted him. He pitched for Florida for a while. Good knuckleballer. Dave Stewart <coughs> helped the A's win a few World Series in the 80s and 90s. More of those. Tim Rock Reigns. I think he just made the Hall of Fame. I think he did. Some more of those generic uh, Starline cards. Albert Bell, a.k.a. Joey Bell. He went by Joey Bell in his early cards. Uh, that's his middle name, I believe. Played at LSU. Go LSU. Got a bunch of these four cards here. Got a bunch of these other ones. Uh, there we go. Got some Lee Smiths. I have his rookie card somewhere. He just made the Hall of Fame recently. He played for the Zephyrs for... He retired with the Zephyrs uh, minor league team. I think he was like 41 years old. He retired. He's like, nah, I'm done. A couple of French's cards. <clears throat> All right, here we go. Dwight Dewey Evans. 81, clean shaved. 83, mustache. Orioles. Dave Steeb, he pitched pretty good. Uh, for the Blue Jays in the 80s and 90s, came out of retirement after retiring in 93 and played in 1998 with the White Sox. Uh, Dennis Martinez, for a while, he's a good player. He had over 245 wins. He had the most wins for a long time, uh, Dominican Republic-wise, from a player until uh, Bartolo Colon broke it. More of those. That's toward the end of his career with the Indians. <clears throat> Larry Walker. Uh, he made the Hall of Fame this year, I believe. This past year. So he did pretty good. Of course, he made his career mostly with the Rockies. Uh, we got some Jeff Bagwells. Pretty sure he made the Hall of Fame. If not, he needs to. Uh, 91 and a, and a rookie of the year. Got a bunch of rookie cards. Got a bunch of Bagwells. Uh, Jimmy Dean's Bagwell with Knobloch. Another page of Bagwells. You zoom out. Uh, ovation card's pretty cool. That card's a pretty cool one, too. <coughs> Excuse me. Got a few of those. All right. Harold Baines. He recently made the Hall of Fame by the Veterans Committee, uh, you know, 2,866 hits. He should have been in long ago. I got more. Like I said, I got more. I got to put some in. John Smoltz, of course, has a rookie card. Smoltz, Smoltz is in the Hall of Fame. Like I said, I got more players of the cards. They're just not in the particular binders. I run out of room. 
<clears throat> and you run out of pages, you know. You can only fit so many pages, so many binders. You gotta move stuff around. I'm sure in the future I'll move stuff around and whatnot. Uh, Mark Grace. Mark Grace was a hell of a player for the Cubs. Um, nothing extraordinary. They got some good players. Roberto Alomar, I got his rookie. She's not in the binder. Berto's got his with Ron Sandberg. We all seen in the other ones before, so I used to get a bunch of these French cards. French's cards. They came with the mustard 1992. I used to get packs and packs of them. Not only that, you can go in the store <clears throat> and they used to have them not on the inside. They used to, I mean, the outside. They used to have them on the inside. People were just taking them off anyway. Uh, <laughs> I'm pretty sure I did that, but I really don't remember. I mean, this was. 28 years ago. I don't remember what I did yesterday, let alone that long. Uh, good read. Top's Finest. Those cards, Top's Finest, were something back in the day. I don't know if they are now. And then I got a few more Alamars. Uh, Oral Hershiser. No jokes intended, folks. Make up your own joke. Hell of a pitcher. You know, of course, he got the... He broke Don Drysdale's record of 59 innings. 59 and two-thirds innings of uh, shutout ball. 59 and counting, of course. <clears throat> more there. And of course, that's just the backside. More room for him. Dave Justice cards. Pretty good player for the Braves back in the 90s. Uh, of course, he shared a card with King Griffey Jr. in the series. I have a few of those. All right. Joe Carter. Game winning home run in 93 World Series for the Blue Jays. His card was with Tony Gwynn. So that's why all the Tony Gwynn cards is in that. You know, I tried to put at least one match it up. The Hawk, Andre Dawson. He had a Hall of Fame career. He's in the Hall of Fame. I've had this card forever. It's so beat up. <laughs> a lot of the cards I had when I was like 8, 9, 10 years old, they got beat up really bad because you didn't know anything about cards back then. You know, I mean, I still got them all pretty much. <clears throat> Oops. Locking the damn view with my, uh, <laughs> with my thumb. <clears throat> I apologize for that. Let's see, it's called the Hawk. That's the back, so I got more room there. Matt Williams rookie card. I had a bunch of these at one time. I don't know what happened to them. I had like 15 of them. I think I sold them or I traded them away. Mother's Cookies card. Um, of course, there's more. It says, I don't know what, that's sideways, little mini cards. Uh, I got a bunch of the French's cards. These with Robin Ventura, 92 French's. Alright. <clears throat> Some more Matt Williams. Uh, oh yeah, back at the back of the binder is some Derek Jeters. Yeah, I, I think I remember this binder towards the back. I got the Jeters and the A Rods, and I think maybe the pull holes is in this binder. I think um, the '92 draft pick card of Derek Jeter. I have it. It's just not in this binder. Um, and there's some more Jeters. Jeter and A-Rod, which leads us to A-Rod. Rookie update. This card right here, I won in a contest. Some kids contest long ago. 90, whatever. 95. Well, I was like 15. I won in a contest. So I don't know if it's rare or not. But, uh, yeah. Rodriguez. Flip over. This is where they started making variations of cards. About the time I, you know, stopped collecting. I mean, I, I still collect, but I don't really open packs anymore. I see movie gallery. Blue, blue. Some of them are like that color. And then I got some more. Rodriguez. Giambi. Giambi. Derek Jeter. Derek Jeter. Got this gold uh, A-Rod. Got some there. And, of course, I got more room for A-Rods. Uh, Raphael Palmero, 3,000 hits. Of course, he said he didn't take steroids, but uh, 
Don't know if he did, don't know if he didn't. They ought to get a free pass for that just because everybody probably took him or most people did. You know, you don't know who took him, who did really. Uh, you know, <clears throat> Lou, Sweet Lou Whitaker, he needs to be in the Hall of Fame. Over 2,000 hits, he was him and Alan Trammell teamed up. Some more of those. Uh, all right. John Franco. Franco and Venezuela. See, but girls, and I don't have many 88 Fleer cards. I thought one of the ugly designs were 88 Fleer cards. I don't know why. Between that and 92 Fleer, Fleer had some some of the ugliest designs ever known. I don't, I don't really know why. See, Fleer 90 is just plain. It's just a plain card. You know, David Cohn, by the way. A lot of times he went by Dave Cohn in his early career. Um, some of those. Got some Chili Davis. He was a good player. I, I put him in here. Um, you know, he had a decent career. Jesse Orozco played for 25, 26 years. Back when you come in, lefty specialist for one inning, or one third of an inning. <clears throat> so, uh, Julio Franco, he played freaking forever. He's probably still playing somewhere to this day. <laughs> uh... You know, some more Francos. I have a whole page of Franco with Terry Pendleton. A whole page. The back is I I have I have more of these and Franco versus Harris. This is when he was like forty five or forty six and Clemens was forty three. Uh, Alright, here we go. This is the Albert Pujols cards, rookie, rookie, rookie He's toward the back. Rookie. I swear that looks more like A Rod than it does Pujols in that pick. I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. If y'all got to this point in the video, you can tell me. That's how I'll know y'all watched it. <laughs> um, got some pulls. I got some more pull holes. Manny Ramirez, rookie card. Uh, you know, before Manny went Manny, and then you know Red Sox and uh, uh, some decent cards. And. Uh, Last one I have in this Mike Piazza rookie card. Piazza's post rookie star. Got two of those. <clears throat> post craft thing. I have a lot of weird oddball cards too. Piazza played for the Marlins for like seven games and they traded him to the Mets. So happen to have a Marlins card. And a few cards there, and I don't know why I got that one sitting there. And that one's actually not 94. That one should go over there. I don't know why that's out of order. And that's the end of that. So, uh, there we go. That's binder number three. Uh, the uh, card set. That's the back, and then that's the... Let's see, it says, from the makers of Don Russ. So, you know, it's a Don Russ binder. It's held up over the years. A little dusty, little whatever, you know, you know, fix that, you know, whatever. Uh, but it's an old binder. So I thank y'all very much for watching. Please give a thumbs up, like, subscribe, comment, share around. If you know anybody that likes baseball cards, please let them know about this video. If anybody wants to uh, trade or buy any, I'm, I'm open to it. My email is fieldguide316 at gmail.com. All right, thanks for watching. I appreciate you, and I'm out.